Okay, so here's this video I promised you. Uh, I don't want to type it all up to get four or five likes, so I'm not going to waste my time. Um, this is a message I got this morning from a good friend of mine who got it from a good friend of hers, who got it from a good friend of his. And so it's not that far down the line that this source comes from, and this person obviously did a lot of homework and has some good resources on their end, and this is the message that was passed along to me and I'm passing it along to you you take it for what it is and I'll touch base with that in a minute but here's the message sent last night 10:49 p.m. this is from uh, one of my immigration sources and this was also posted in another group on uh, Trump's page there and so there's more than one story coming in here from different angles and this is yesterday at 9.34 a.m. Ladies, we have some crap going down. The Muslims are here and coming. Someone messaged me this message. She said she had seen it in another group. I think it's just about to hit the fan, folks. Just got off the phone with my mechanic. He called to let me know he was at Love's at I-35 and Highway 9 near Norman, Oklahoma. He was listening to a scanner and he picked up some OHP chatter. Then saw the patrol cars at Love's. They were escorting six buses run by Village Charter Services. He stopped to talk to a patrolman and asked what was going on. As they talked, he observed Middle Eastern men, all fighting age, no women or children, getting off the bus and entering the loves with prayer rugs and Qurans. The patrolman told him they were escorting six buses of these men to a compound in Rush Springs. Each bus carries 80 men, and the entire Oklahoma fleet consists of 230 buses. All booked for this operation. I started calling my resources, and here's what I'm finding out. Okay, I called the station in question, as I know it well, driving to and from Houston. A lady answered, and I told her who I was and how often I came there, and I explained that I heard something about her station. I never said what it was, but I know I have spoken to this lady before about prepping. I described myself, and I asked her if she remembers me, and she says, yes, you have the GSD dog. She said, hold on a moment. Then she comes back on and whispers and says, I get off at 3 p.m. They are coming at three, six buses at a time, filled to the max. They come at 4, 7, 8 p.m. They get off and they go behind the building and they come in and grab drinks, paid for with freshly printed money, and use the restroom, and then they leave. Then she said, hold on again, came back in just a second with a different tone and said really fast, I can't verify that buses filled with foreigners are stopping here. It hasn't been on my shift. And then hung up on me. So I called another person who works for Border Patrol. Yep, buses are coming through Mexico into Texas, and we have been told to wave them through. 30 to 60 buses a day. Best bet we can figure, said one of his friends, and now friends of the friend followed, have been following them. And they stop at small towns, at Social Security and immigration offices, just this side of the border. They get off, wait three or four hours, and then get back on, and then they go off. One friend asked them who they were and why they were here. The man told them, we come to America. Incidentally, the bus company located in Tulsa, Salina, Wichita, and Oklahoma City won't comment. But the one did tell me they had fleets of 70 buses at each location. I asked if I could rent one or two, and he said he was not renting anymore for the month of October because they are all booked up. Two people now in military high ranking have no clue and haven't heard about it. Called one on the west coast and he said do you bike are you going bike riding this weekend? Our code for high security alert or I can't talk about it right now or at all maybe. But I will see if he calls back later. He is known to. If so we'll let you know. Rush Springs, Oklahoma is one location they were spotted or, or holed up at for the night. Now I want to look at these numbers now according to this woman's information I wrote down. Alright, so that's 80 Muslims, Middle Eastern men, all fighting age, no women and children from Middle Eastern countries that will fit on a bus. And there were six buses. That's 480 Muslims. Alright? So 230 buses times 80 Muslims, that's 18,400 Muslims. All right? They said three to six buses. All right? 
So that's about a 4.5 average. So 4.5 buses at 80 Muslims a bus equals 3,600 Muslims. Remember that number. I'm going to show you how you, this uh, story pans out because of that number. Because her math is right, no matter how you look at it. And they're coming in at 4 and 7 and 8 o'clock, she said. Three times, all right? Well, three times 3,600 is 10,800 Muslims. All right? All right, she said they're coming in at 4, 7, and 8. And that there were Border Patrol said there was 30 to 60 buses a day. All right, so that's an average of 45 buses a day. So we'll do the average. 45 buses a day times 80 Muslims equals 3,600. All right. Now you got 31 days in the month of October. You times that by the average of buses. That's 45 buses. So 31 times 45. Are you ready for this? 111,000. 600 Muslims from Middle Eastern countries, all men, all the fighting age, people, this ain't immigration. This is not saving refugees. This is an invasion. On top of the already 50,000 Central Americans that somehow miraculously treaded across the most dangerous part of the Western Hemisphere and crossed our borders last year. It's called what it is, people. This is an invasion. Get this out there and uh, be on the lookout because this is not going to end well.